hi slim stars welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make a circle top that can be modified into a butterfly top okay so essentially i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a circle top and a butterfly top so if you want to see how to make this lovely top definitely keep on watching oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> So since this is a flare top or a circle top, you want to go ahead and fold your fabric. Okay, so you can cut a circle or a, or a flare. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is fold your fabric lengthwise. Okay, so my fabric has been folded lengthwise as you can see right now. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric again. But this time I'm going to be folding my fabric widthwise as you can see right now. Okay, so the first time I folded it was lengthwise and then i went ahead to fold it widthwise now when you have the two folds okay you want to take that part as your center front now from that fold at the top you want to measure all the way down the length of your top so for me i want my top to be 27 inches i just added one inch to make it 28 inches so that's the length of my top now from that um corner there you want to go ahead and measure across measure your shoulder divided by two okay which gave me seven inches and then from that shoulder point there i just marked the length of my sleeve and the length of my sleeve um, i got was 17 inches okay so just go ahead and mark that and then for your my neckline i'm just marking three and a half inches as the width and then for the depth i'm marking one and a half inches now this one and a half inches is the depth of my back neckline i'm cutting my back neckline first and then later on i'll unfold my fabric and then cut my front neckline now i'm just creating a curve from you know the length of the top all the way to the length of the sleeve okay and then i'm just cutting along that line now obviously you can decide how long or short you want your um sleeve to be once you decide that just draw a curve to connect it to the length of your top okay now i'm going to decide where i want my hands to come out of so from the neckline there i'm just marking it 18 inches okay and then the width of that opening will be three inches or you can use two and a half inches i decided to use two and a half inches okay and then from the fold um you know that is about one inches okay so it's two and a half inches wide and one inch deep if that makes sense so just draw a curve to connect all those points and then go ahead and cut it now depending on your wrist circumference this can be wider like i said you can make it three inches for the width and then one and a half inches depth okay so just decide based on your wrist circumference for me my wrist circumference um is eight inches okay so i use two and a half um width and one and and one inch depth pardon me now i'm just going to go ahead and just cut out my neckline now i'm going to unfold my piece okay i've just unfolded my piece once so that i can now see the front piece and the back piece can you see that part where i cut out for my sleeve and you can see my neck as well now i'm going to refold my piece again but making sure that this time i have um you know my front piece separate from my back piece okay now once i have that done i'm just going to mark the neckline for my front piece i'm just marking about six inches neckline from you know that starting point and then i'm just going to make it a v neckline you can make it a round neckline that is much wider than the back neckline it's also it's also up to you okay so when i unfold this, this is what i have can you see now so our piece is practically almost done so now i'm going to measure a band okay that i'm going to use to pipe the part of my fabric where my wrist is going to come out of so um this band is about let's say 10 inches long yes about okay about 11 10 and a half inches long okay 10 and a half inches long that's how long the band is and the width of the band is about two and a half inches the band is about two and a half inches wide so that's what i'm cutting now the 10 inches i got is basically from measuring that um tiny circle where i cut out for my hands to come out of so just go ahead and measure that circle so just go ahead and use your tape to measure around that circle to get the length of your own um you know wristband if that makes sense so just go ahead and fold it this is what we're going to be using i'm going to fold this and then i'm going to go ahead and sew 
it's closed okay can you see now that it can pass through my hand okay so i'm just going to fold it and sew that closed for both of them make sure you iron it flat so that you know it's easy for you okay same thing with the other one just fold it fold it um, lengthwise fold it widthwise and then sew it closed now after sewing in this is what we have can you see right here this is what we have for both of them and as you can see my hand can pass through okay and then on my on my wrist it's pretty fitted it's not too tight but it's fitted on my wrist as well so you want it to pass your hand easily and also be fitted at your wrist so i'm just going to open my fabric now and then i'm going to go ahead and sew this sew the wristband to that circle to that circle for my wrist okay so just place it in and then sew it on the wrong side okay so the way i'm holding it now is the easiest way to do it you can also go ahead and just pin it around just pin it around so it's also easy for you to um sew And after joining in this is what we're going to have okay very very easy very simple so do the same thing for the other one as well this gives a very very lovely finish to this particular circle top and that's why i love adding this wristband alternatively you can just use a bias tape to just pipe it but i feel like this this looks so much better so i went ahead to pipe my neckline okay so you can wear the top as it is it's good to go this is the circle top version but if you want to make it a butterfly top which gives it a better fitting what you want to do is measure um, mark the midpoint of the top and then from the shoulder you want to mark your um, waist measurements and your bust measurements okay so mark where you have your bust point which you might, for mine is 10 inches which is what i'm marking now and then before that i marked my waist measurement as well now you want to go ahead and divide your bust circumference by four place it on that mid midpoint line and then mark um you know your bust circumference as a quarter of your bust circumference mark it on the left and on the right alternatively you can just divide your bust circumference by two and then just place it where you have that bust point line okay same thing with the waist divide your waist circumference by four place it at the midpoint mark your waist circumference divided by four on the left and on the right okay and then you want to go ahead and just connect that the bust to the waist same thing with your hip so at the hem of your top you want to mark your hip circumference divided by four okay and then just go ahead and connect it all the way up to the waist okay so connect it all the way up to the waist and then once you're done all you have to do is sew along those lines on the right side okay don't turn into the wrong side so along those lines on the right side and this is what it looks like guys i really really love this stuff like i didn't think i was going to love it this much <laughs> but i actually did and i actually do thank you so much for watching bye